This tutorial is about stamps in Fourscore. So what are stamps? If I tap the center of the screen and then go to the annotate tool, which is the pencil, and then there's a menu bar across the top and on the far left is stamps. So if I tap on that, it brings me a list of stamps. Now there are a lot of them I have created in here, but if I scroll down, these are mostly ones that came in Fourscore. And the way you use them is if I want to say, indicate something is pianissimo, I'm going to tap on the PPP and then I can change the color of it. If you see in the upper left here that it's currently red, I can change that by tapping on the little red circle here and I can change it to whatever color I want. I kind of like red, so I'm going to leave it there. So I'm just going to tap back on the um, icon in the upper left corner to leave it red. But if I want to make it the default color, uh, whatever it was, and you can see here it's black, then this paintbrush will allow it to be whatever color it was originally. And if I tap on the paintbrush again, it will go to whatever color I have selected. So now, uh, by simply tapping where I want to say that, I can just tap there. And I can also, by tapping on the uh, icon in the upper left, I can close that menu and I can put pianissimo wherever I want on here just by tapping. And now I can undo all those because I really made a mess out of that. There are lots of different stamps in here. And uh, so I can even uh, create, I can add notes. I can, um, uh, I created this uh, Brev icon here. But you can create new stamps by tapping on the plus sign down in the bottom of the stamps list. And that'll bring up this window. And you can draw in here to create a stamp of whatever you want to make it. And when you're finished with that, you can click Save. And now I have that rather bizarre stamp right here. It came in right next to the pianissimo because that's where I happened to be when I created it. And now I can create that wherever I want it. Now, I don't know why I'd want that stamp, so I'm going to get rid of those. And I can also delete it by clicking on the trash can and say delete. And you can also scale the size of your stamps with this scroll at the bottom. So you can make them smaller or larger. You can also move them around if you want to reposition them just by clicking on one or just holding your finger on one and then and sliding it into a new, new position. So if you don't like where it ended up, you can do that. You can also edit them. So for example, let's say I want to change this triangle. I can tap on this uh, square with an up arrow and that brings that up and now I can modify that. I could, uh, you know, do something else to it, whatever I want to do to it. If I click save, it'll save that. If I change my mind, I can hit can cancel, which I'm going to do now. Do not save. And so now it's back to what it was. So that's how you can create new stamps from within Fourscore, but you can also create new stamps in some other software and import them into Fourscore. I've created a stamp in Photoshop and the simplest size to make that is 144 pixels across and down. So it's a square um, image of, a, of 144 pixels each direction and with a transparent background and save it as a PNG file. And I saved, the, saved it to Dropbox. To close this stamps list, I'm gonna tap on the stamp in the upper left corner. And uh, now that's my current annotation tool. If I wanna change annotation tools, I can of course tip, tap, tap, I can of course tap on a different one, but that doesn't really matter right now. What I wanna do now is to get out of the annotation tool with by clicking on done or cancel as the case may be. I'm going to tap the center of the screen. I'm going to tap on the toolbox in the upper right corner of the screen and then tap on services which is about just above halfway down the screen and 
I've got that set up to go to Dropbox. If you don't have that, I'm going to go back here and you can see that uh, there are a number of defaults here. I've got Dropbox in there and it's already been configured for my Dropbox. And I have saved this um, image in the my Fourscore folder. So I'm going to tap there. And now I've got a number of different things in here. The one that I am interested in right now is called No Breath One. PNG. So I just created that in Photoshop. I tap on that and actually I have one in there already so I'm going to click click over right and then I'm finished. If you have more than one you want to bring in you can tap on as many as you want to at this point. And I click done and now I'm going to go back to the annotation menu, go back to stamps, open that up. I have to tap on it twice to open up the menu. The first one selects it, and then the second one opens it up. And the one I want to I'm, I want to add this after my check mark. The check mark is the one I like to use to indicate a breath. So I'm going to add my no breath after that. So I'm going to click the plus sign to add a new stamp, and then I'm going to click import on this menu across the top, and go to local files, and find my no breath one, which is right here. Tap on that and click save. And now that is in there as an additional stamp. So I can tap on it in the, I want to preserve the colors of the original. I don't want to have it do solid red, which would, it would do right now. I want to have it do the red and black. So I'm going to tap on the paintbrush so that it preserves the original colors of the stamp and then I'll tap on the stamp icon to close the menu. And now I want to say, I don't want to take a breath right here. I don't want to take a breath right here. And I, I would use that in a place where, as I'm playing along, I'm starting to run out of air. I'm thinking this might be a, a place to take a breath. But in fact, the phrase doesn't end there. So I have this warning to myself saying, hey, you might think you want to take a breath here, but you don't want to. So that's what that particular stamp would be for. So that's how you import a stamp or create one manually within Fourscore. I hope this has been helpful.